gopher tortoises are connected by longleaf pine forest. They're known as a keystone species because they dig these burrows that are used by many other species to hibernate, to get out of the sun. They're used by frogs, they're used by indigo snakes. Um, in fact, we actually put a scope down one of the gopher tortoise holes and there was an indigo snake down there. So the effort to protect the gopher tortoise is in essence an effort to protect many other species as well. I got to hold a full-grown adult gopher tortoise and they are strong. Their legs are like elephant legs. They're just these stocky, stubby legs and they've got claws, which is how they dig those burrows. But the strength, like when he, he wanted to move and, and it took everything I had to keep him from crawling. One of the main reasons the gopher tortoise is in danger or threatened is because its habitat has gone away. This country used to have thousands of acres of longleaf pine forest, and now we have little pockets of longleaf pine forest. Researchers understand that. That's why there are some people who have put all their efforts into rebuilding uh, longleaf pine forest stands so that they connect people are trying to save the gopher tortoise. There are others who are working to bring back the population of the red cockaded woodpecker. All these groups are working to save these species, but the main component to their survival is getting longleaf forests back to at least a stable point where you have the forests touching each other. Many of these species travel long distances, and so if you just have this little pocket of longleaf forest, that's not enough. The red cockaded woodpecker is important because of its relationship with a longleaf pine forest. Everybody thinks that they have a red cockaded woodpecker in their backyard. I did. And the red cockaded part throws everybody. It's just a little tiny red streak on the males. You, it, it's hard to see, and it's easy to confuse them with other woodpeckers, but they are, they are very rare to see. And I mean, they, they are just incredibly picky. It's amazing, because they only want to nest in a longleaf pine tree not just any pine tree. They prefer one that's very old and um, they can take, you know, a year to dig out their nest. It's deep, it goes down into the tree. It's gotta be just the right tree. And then the nest has to be just the right size. Um, it's important because the nests that they build are used by other birds. For example, um, uh, a larger woodpecker might make that hole a little bit larger and move right in. And I think sometimes when we say, why is a species important? It's like, why isn't it? Everything is connected. When you take away one thing, suddenly you realize, oh, all these other things depended on that one thing. You can try to save a species all you want, but if you don't at the same time, save its habitat, you're wasting your time.